When it comes to action cameras, GoPro has got a bit of a monopoly on the market. But when it comes to video geeks, what have we got for action cameras? Well, we've got this Black Magic Design Micro. It's called Micro because it's not actually that micro. But the question is, can this really cut it as an action camera? Let's do some action. The Micro comes in a tidy microfied box with more plugs than an Ann Summers party. So if you look on the side here, you've got your record button, play, menu, power on, but then you've got this as well. So if you want to control it, you need to put your thing in there. But if you want to see stuff, you want to put your other thing in there. The great thing is it takes SD cards. One thing I hate about action cameras is that it takes micro SD. Always lose them in orifices and, and things like that. And of course, SD cards make more sense economically also, and that expansion port can be used for numerous applications, controlling the camera via wireless transmitter, wired ones, via remote control controller. I mean, the size of this is quite small for a Black Magic Design camera. It's smaller than the Black Magic Design Pocket Cinema camera. But this also does 50p ProRes. Boom, have that. It is useful having that 50p or 60p, and the benefit is that the video looks good. It's not crap quality 50p. We've come home. Oh, I missed my home. It smells like home. It smells like blood. Let's spit. Let's spit, on, let's spit on the floor as well. Stop being racist. <laughs> it's, it's not being racist, we're Chinese. Then a sensor within, or well, this is a Super 16 format, but a micro four thirds mount. Benefit of that is that you can use a speed booster. It shares the same sensor as the Pocket Cinema camera, so you can use the same adapters or alternatively use micro four thirds lenses. It's not a conventional action camera in that sense. The footage is too shaky to show you without needing a sick bag. Plus you can't rely on auto settings like with other cameras. Kind of worried what this Blackmagic footage can be like. It's probably gonna be really shaky. Perhaps cycling is a bit too bumpy. Let's try some other action. Maybe something a bit more stable. I think we need to be going that way though. Let's switch this on first. So we're gonna have to guess because there's no screen. It just takes the Canon LP6 OVS. And um, there really isn't much else. I mean, there's got, you've got power on button. Let's switch on. See, without a screen, this is just a big GoPro. To use the micro, we do recommend that you have a screen to get you up and running. Wicked. Ooh. Okay, Whew. nearly died there. Okay, Black Magic Design. Yes, it shoots 1080. But it's 2017. I mean, both of these other cameras, the GoPro Hero 5 and the Sony XDR, whatever it's called, 3000 from Sony, shoot 4K. Is this still relevant in 2017? No. Well, the consolation is that it shoots a nice 1080p image. It's just that you don't have any room for cropping or stabilizing in post. This, this will be a real test for the image stabilization of all of these cameras. Why well, I say all of these cameras, not all of these cameras have image stabilization. GoPro has digitally. This has BOSS, balanced optical steady shot. This doesn't. You've got more buttons on the side, but you, you won't be able to tell what exposure or the focus is like without a screen. That, that's one thing is that you do need a screen. With the Sony, you've got a little watch thing to act as a screen. GoPro, you've got a touch screen on the back. 
<laughs> okay, so yeah, anyway, the action cameras from Black Major Design, Sony, GoPro, they're all as good as each other. Cheers, thanks for watching. <laughs> A few moments later. Yeah, got it now. All oh, right, I gave up, Christ. Let's find some other wheels. Draw files are lovely to deal with in post, but if your footage is too shaky and not even in focus, there's not much you can do with that in post. Oh yeah, we come back. So yeah, it's not exactly good because it doesn't have image stabilization like the GoPro or the Sony but you can stabilize it with this gimbal cut way to boom you really need a gimbal with the micro with action cameras like the Sony having good in-body stabilization and GoPro having lots of smaller gimbals to choose from the micro seems a bit cumbersome in comparison. Perhaps the micro would be good mounted on say something like a drone but most people are content with using the cameras on DJI's already. Right so that was the action stuff. It doesn't really work as an action camera that's the thing because it's not stabilized and it's actually quite big and for me action cameras are all about having something that isn't too cumbersome because when you're doing your skateboarding your hippity hoppity snowboarding and skiing and stuff like that you don't want something big and bulky with a gimbal this is more for rigging onto say like the front of a car or not yourself anyway but it's amazing the power that they have in this tiny little thing even though it is only 1080.